African bush elephants, the largest kind, can weigh up to 11 tons and stand 10 to 13 feet tall at the shoulder. African woodland elephants can weigh up to 6.6 .6 tons and stand about 10 feet tall. Asian elephants are the smallest, weighing up to 5.5 tons and growing to be about 10 feet tall. Hello and welcome to KYC News. In this episode, we will discuss about the biggest animal in the jungle. Stay till the end and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Elephant Elephants are the largest terrestrial creatures on the planet. There are three live species of elephants, the African bush elephant, the African forest elephant, and the Asian elephant. They are the only remaining members of the Elephantidae family and the Proboscidea order. During the Pleistocene, the order was much more diverse, but most species fell extinct during the late Pleistocene epoch. Elephants have a lengthy proboscis called a trunk, tusks, enormous ear flaps, pillar-like legs, and thick but sensitive skin. Breathing, transporting food and drink to the mouth, and gripping items are all done by the trunk. Tusks, which are generated from incisor teeth, are used as weapons as well as tools for moving and excavating. The broad ear flaps aid in both maintaining a consistent body temperature and communication. Asian elephants have smaller ears and convex or level backs, whereas African elephants have larger ears and concave backs. Elephants can be found in a variety of environments in Sub-Saharan Africa, South Asia, and Southeast Asia, including savannas, woodlands, deserts, and marshes. They are herbivorous and prefer to be near water when it is available. Because of their importance on their surroundings, they are called keystone species. Elephants have a fission fusion society in which multiple family groups socialize together. Females, cows, reside in family groups, which might include a single female with her calves or numerous related females with kids. The oldest cow, known as the matriarch, usually leads the groupings that do not contain males. When males, bulls, achieve puberty, they leave their family groups and may live alone or with other males. When looking for a mate, adult bulls typically interact with family units. They undergo a state of elevated testosterone and aggression known as must, which aids in male dominance and reproductive success. Calves are the focus of their family groups and rely on their moms for up to three years. Elephants can live in the wild for up to 70 years. Elephants communicate over great distances through infrared and seismic transmission, as well as touch, sight, smell, and sound. The intelligence of elephants has been compared to that of primates and cetaceans. They appear to be self-aware and to feel empathy for dying and deceased family members. The International Union for Conservation of Nature IUCN, lists African bush elephants and Asian elephants as endangered and African forest elephants as severely endangered. The ivory trade is one of the most serious dangers to elephant populations as the animals are poached for their ivory tusks. Wild elephants are also threatened by habitat degradation and confrontations with local people. In Asia, elephants are used as working animals. They were once utilized in warfare. Today, they are frequently controversially shown in zoos or used for entertainment in circuses. Elephants are well known and have appeared throughout art, folklore, religion, literature, and popular culture. Habitat African elephants live in a variety of environments, including tropical forests, savannas, grasslands, and woods. Tropical forests have little variation in temperature, about 23 degrees Celsius, and length of daylight, approximately 12 hours. 
However, rainfall varies greatly in the tropics and is a major determinant of the type of flora that develops in a given area. Savannas are grasslands with sparsely distributed trees. They usually have separate dry and rainy seasons. Dry season, usually from June through November. Rainy season, typically October to December and March to June. Grasslands are known for their chilly winter temperatures. Seasonal droughts, sporadic fires, and grazing by large mammals all impede the establishment of woody shrubs and trees. Grassland soil is high in nutrients, and perennial grass roots are frequently firmly buried. Woodlands are defined as areas densely forested with trees and bushes. Woodlands vary from forests in that they have a vast, open canopy with sunlight filtering through the treetops. Forests have a largely closed canopy, which means that sunlight does not easily seep through the treetops and provides practically continual shade. Asian elephants live largely in tropical forests. Diet Elephants consume 149 to 169 kilograms, 330 to 375 pounds of grass per day. An elephant's day is spent feeding for 16 to 18 hours, or about 80% of the time. Elephants eat grasses, tiny plants, bushes, fruit, twigs, tree bark, and root systems. Elephants love tree bark as a dietary source. It is high in calcium and roughage, both of which promote digestion. Tusks are used to slice into the trunk and remove bark strips. Elephants require between 68.4 to 98.8 L, 18 to 26 gallons, of water per day, but can eat up to 152 L, 40 gallons. In less than 5 minutes, an adult male elephant may drink up to 212 L, 55 gallons, of water. Elephants will dig up earth to get salt and minerals to augment their diet. The ground is churned by the tusks. To obtain nutrients, the elephant then places dislodged particles of earth into its mouth. These places frequently result in several foot deep excavations, and important minerals are made available to other creatures. African elephants, for example, have carved out vast caverns in a volcano hillside on the Ugandan border over time to get salt licks and minerals. Asian elephants sculpted hills in India and Sumatra in quest of salt and minerals. These hollowed places in the landscape provide important food and shelter supplies for a wide variety of natural species. Social Organization Elephant social structures are complicated, varying according to gender and population dynamics. Matriarchal, female-led, societies exist among adult elephants. Adult guys are typically lonely creatures. Males Adult male elephants are solitary in nature, however they may form small, unstable groups with other bulls, adult males. Males will leave the family unit, natal unit, between the ages of 12 and 15 years. Bulls that congregate in small groups have a hierarchical social structure. Leaders, who are determined by age and power, protect the herd's front and rear. More docile, quiet-natured, bulls do not pursue leadership responsibilities, but instead serve as group stabilizers. When a male quits or enters the group, hierarchical roles are re-established and readjusted. Although bulls are typically solitary, they will associate with non-natal family units, family units to whom they are unrelated. Bulls have no preference for certain family units and will migrate to new groupings at random throughout the day and even hourly in search of reproductively receptive females. The nomadic, wandering, social organization of bulls permits them to optimize their reproductive potential. A single bull can possibly locate up to 30 mates in a year using this approach, as compared to fathering four calves in three years if he only associated with one family unit. Females The female social organization resembles concentric rings, with the innermost circle consisting of a family unit of related adult cows, females. 
Family units can include 3 to 25 members, including the matriarch, the eldest and most powerful female, her adult daughters and their calves, and a number of juveniles. The groupings expand from this steady core to include less recognizable individuals. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell.